It's been hard to miss the launch of this new Zuvi hairdryer because there's been so much press and promotion around it. But if you haven't heard about it before, it uses wide spectrum light to dry your hair rather than heat. And it's been touted as a game changer and the Tesla of hair dryers. I first read about it in a column by one of my favorite beauty writers, India Knight in the Sunday Times. And she said she felt it was worth its heavy £329 price tag, $350 in the US, because of its long-term benefits for your hair. So I dug deep into my pockets and I bought one to test for this channel. I've been using it for a month now and today I'm going to show you how it works and share my verdict. I'm a journalist dedicated to bringing you independent and impartial product reviews and advice. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and get notified to watch more honest videos. Now, let's get into the review. So what does the Zuvi Halo Dryer do differently? Well, traditional hair dryers will use heat to dry your hair all the way through, whereas this dryer sets out to replicate the benefits of natural air drying, where your hair would dry on the outside but remain moist and hydrated in the middle. And to do that, it uses light. And the result should be that your hair is more uh, soft, manageable, and generally in better condition. In fact, the makers say their tests show the Zuvi creates shinier and smoother hair and improves color retention by 57% compared with traditional drying. Now, amid rising energy prices, it might be of interest to know it uses 60% less energy on average than a traditional dryer, according to the maker, though it's going to take a very long time before those savings go anywhere near covering the cost of the dryer. It does come beautifully packaged, but unlike something um, like the Dyson, for instance, which sells a similar price point, it doesn't have its own carry case. It does, however, come with three separate attachments. There's a diffuser to enhance curls, a styling nozzle for straightening and styling hair, and a gentle air attachment, which disperses cooler air for sensitive scalps. And the dryer itself has four settings. There's care, fast, soft, and style. The care setting is designed to optimize hair health. The fast mode is best for drying hair quickly while still maintaining a lower heat. The soft mode lets out a controlled airflow, ideal to use if you have a sensitive scalp. And the style mode is ideal to use with the attachments to straighten or style your hair. And if you hold down the top control button, it releases a stream of cool air for helping to set your style and add shine. So let's take a look at the Zuvi in action. So the first thing you're gonna notice about this when I use it is that when I put it on, it's the quietest hair dryer I've ever used. And what I didn't realize to begin with is you can use it with the nozzle off. It just doesn't look like your typical hair dryer. And the instructions that come with it um, aren't, there's, there's not a lot of them. It's pretty minimal. I could have really used with a kind of picture guide for something as new as this. So um, to begin with, I use it with nozzle off. And then once it's sort of part dried, I add the nozzle then, the styling nozzle to, to finish off. So let's go with this bit and I'm just gonna start my stopwatch because I wanna know exactly how long this takes, start to finish. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put it on fast mode just now, just to part dry my hair. Right now, it's a lovely gentle heat but you can take it pretty much right up to the scalp. And that's feeling like quite a focused heat um, and quite a, a focused jet of air. So my hair is not going everywhere. It's a targeted blast of warm air. Right, so I'm gonna um, style my hair now with the nozzle, which is really easy. You just clip it in. There's like a magnetic hold there. Very easy to remove as well. Um, moving it for this from fast, to style mode. That's the mode that you use with the no nozzle. Okay, so just for a quick noise comparison to see how quiet this really is, let's use this while I'm chatting. And I can comfortably still carry on a conversation while using the Zuvi, much to my husband's regret. 
And now let's check it when I use the Babolus dryer instead. Oh yeah. And actually, not only is it loud, but it's hot. So the pros then of this dryer are that it's light, sleek, and very easy to hold. It's very comfortable on your hair and scalp, and it releases a lovely sort of gentle warmth. And you can, you can in most modes, take it right up to your scalp without burning. Within a few days of starting to use the dryer, I felt my hair was softer overall. Downsides. As far as I can see at the time of filming, it's only available in white at the moment, which is a bit annoying because I dry my hair after applying makeup, including foundation, which means I have to make sure to wash my hands really thoroughly to avoid discolouring the faux leather grip around the handle. But you know, I could always clean the handle if it gets marked, so it's not too big a disaster. I have seen reviews saying this dryer saves time and I have found the opposite. So since realising you need to dry your hair off first without the nozzle, I have saved a couple of minutes overall, but it still works out at around five minutes of drying time for me, which is quite a bit longer than the three minutes it took to dry with my traditional Babyliss Pro Hair Dryer that I reviewed on this channel a couple of years ago. Overall, I'm enjoying using the Zuvi. I can definitely say I don't regret buying it, but I've also, um, I've also not seen dramatic changes in my hair in the past month. And I can't say that my hair is immediately more manageable as soon as I've dried it. But after it settles, after about 10 minutes, I do feel my hair is feeling softer and more hydrated. And I think that's also improving over time. So my hair feels in good condition at the moment and I think that's a mix between using this dryer, just having had it cut, which obviously helps a lot, and using a conditioning wash for the last couple of months as well. So what I'll do is I'll report back in six months time to update you on the long-term results of using the Zuvi and whether it does truly help with conditioning and also color retention after having my hair colored as well. For now, if you're considering buying the Zuvi, I hope this review helps. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this something you're interested in trying? What dryer works best for you when you're styling your hair? I always love to hear your thoughts and experiences. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.